South Georgia, the South Georgia ground is off the coast of Antarctica. South Georgia is an island. Uh, when the Argentines invaded the Falklands, actually the first place they took was a, uh, a weather station on South Georgia Island, which is about 600 miles uh, let's see, east and somewhat south of the Falklands, or Malvinas, if you're very sympathetic with the Argentines. Um, <clears throat> it was a good place for whalers to overwinter because, <coughs> among other things, you could grow a little bit of food there. You could grow cabbage in that climate. It was just barely warm enough like the Matanuska Valley of Alaska and some of southeast Alaska. It was just barely warm enough to grow cabbage, a good source of vitamin C. The whalers actually succeeded in keeping the existence of the harbor there, Leith Harbor, uh, <clears throat> secret from the powers that be, lest somebody, some nation try to claim it and take it away from them. But I've got another song about South Georgia and the whalers, but this is about modern whalers, factory whaling ships. Now, the old style whalers at Moby Dick, you may think about uh, the courage of men in small boats pursuing a huge animal at considerable danger. Uh, <clears throat> that's not politically popular these days, but pretty frightening experience. Harry Robertson, who 50 years ago worked in the factory whaling ships, <clears throat> wrote a song about the guys who spent the winter in South Georgia, in Leith Harbor there, doing the maintenance work on the ships during the winter in preparation for the next season. This song has a special flavor for me because I spent six years of my life as an oceanographer and two years of that time, broken up in weeks and months at a time, was spent floating around on a research station in the Arctic Ocean. Uh, in 1969, I finally got to see sunrise, March 6th. Uh, it had been down all the time that I was up there from the, a little before Christmas. Uh, <clears throat> so the we dark end of it, there's a line in this about the cold seeps through your soul. Uh, I know what that feels like. ship they go, carry little bags of coal with them, and a little iron stove. In that wee dark engine room, where the chill seeps through your soul, how we huddled round that wee pot stove. That burned oily rags and coal. The fireman Paddy worked with me on the engines stiff and cold. A stranger to the truth was he. There is no lie he hasn't told. He 
tell you of his gold mine and of all the girls he'd won and his body sense of humor shone just like a ray of sun in that wee dark engine room where the chill seeps through your soul how oh, we huddled round that wee pot stove that burned oily rags <coughs> and coal. We labored seven days a week with cold hands and frozen feet. Bitter days and lonely nights, making grog and having fights. Salt fish and whale meat sausage, fresh penguin eggs a treat. And we trudged along to work each day through icy winds and sleet. In that we are in room, where the chill seeps through your soul. Oh, we huddle round that wee pot stove that burned bony rags and coal. And then one day we saw the sun, saw the factory ships return, meet some old friends and sing a song, hope the season won't be long. And homeward, when it's over, we'll leave this icy cold. But I always will remember that little iron stove <laughs> in that weird engine room, where the chill seeps through your soul. Oh, we huddle round that wee pot stove that burned holy rags and cold. We dark engine room by Harry Robinson.